Hi everybody, welcome to today's episode. We're doing a book review, Yagasi Homegoing. Let's go. Right, so I think many South Africans are going to agree with me. If you do disagree with me, that's also okay. In South Africa, we know a lot about racism because it did affect black people, we know that. But we're not really educated much about slavery. Or oh, I, at least I was not educated about slavery. I did, the schools that I went to, we did learn about slavery. We did learn about racism a lot. We didn't even learn about racism. We just learned about some of the things that happened. But no one is breaking down what racism is actually even in the school system. So in this book, it was my first time learning about slavery and I believe in its true sense outside of just learning about slavery from social media, like the posts on social media when I was on social media, Americans specifically breaking down what slavery was. And I never really also understood it much even there. So in this book, it was my really my first time understanding how bad it was and even though it's a book but you create images in your head and you can almost see everything that the writer is, is trying to portray in a story so it was very disturbing because of that for me it was really hard at the beginning i was shocked for the most part but i knew it was bad but i didn't know that people were treated that way i didn't know that people were being sexually assaulted in those conditions it was mind-boggling for me so that's number one number two i didn't know that black people were involved in slavery as well could be just ignorance but i didn't know that people would literally take their own people to white people and sell them i didn't i don't know where i thought I, where i thought white people took the people and how but i didn't think it was the way that it was happening so that for me was like whew okay i didn't know this part as well so the fact that slavery was not just a white people thing which largely was but black people had their own slaves and still do if you think about it even now when we talk about when we're talking about housekeepers as well and how some people treat their housekeepers and 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 how the things that they say to their housekeepers and how they're not supposed to touch the food and stuff so it goes to that as well but let's not defer from the fact that this is all for me it made me it made it worse for me it's like i don't know how i feel about the whole race thing and the rainbow the rainbow nation thing it's just a lot it was a lot for me to take in so yeah if you decide to read this book it's quite a lot when it comes to just racism and um slavery but i think it's so important like you're going to learn so much i really really recommend this one it was beautiful all right let's talk about a few things so the book takes place interchangeably between ghana and america so it it, it begins with slavery and then it moves over to where now we have racism to the times that we're people were not being sold but now we're treated badly because of their skin colors which also tackles it in a sense in a bloodline sense the descendants so whatever what started in ghana has followed the characters to their it has, it has followed generations rather let's put it that way which has made me think also about how i took for granted just how lucky and I want to say blessed I am to not have because sometimes we take things for granted that a lot of black people suffer for different reasons drug use and stuff and you always sometimes think that oh well they choose it sometimes not that I always think that way but sometimes we don't have compassion for people but just let me speak for myself but now i have so much compassion having read this and understanding how the system has really ruined and set people a lot of people for failure for years until things change hopefully but that's just our reality right now so it follows people in in ghana and 
homegoing in a sense that the people that were sold in to the states they there but they still some of the characters still yearned for their true innate selves their true organic selves where they could be themselves and they could not find especially the younger generation towards the end of the book where they could not it's like i have everything that i need i'm studying but there's still something that's missing which is where they go back to their roots to ghana so it, it's ancestral as well it is um this romance I feel like this romance it's not also just in a conventional way the men in the book are mostly loving and then as generations grow and and, and and evolve you find that black men are not as nice they're struggling with drug use black women are struggling with hiding behind the church and being mistreated by black men you find that black men are being arrested for no good whatever history that you know she she puts it so well in the book but what i didn't like about the book is the fact that it appears to be and it took me a little bit of time to catch on it appears to be short stories i don't really like short stories because it feels like you're studying a new story every time i like to read a book just one whole thing where it connects and connects it's the same thing with this one but it does appear to be sh like short stories because it, it interchanges from america to ghana so the story that you you were following and then it's gone and then you find that oh okay this person's child is now grown and stuff so they, they continue the story i didn't really like that that much but she did a great job of marrying it together in the end so it was not that much of much of a problem so i would say that you need to read this one as fast as you can don't leave it for, for too long because you're going to forget some things it was the case with me because i'm I'm busy with my schoolwork, so sometimes I would need to carry on with my research and then come back and like, what is going on? And then have to go back a little bit. But if you read it, just try to be quick. It's really beautiful. I do feel like the writing style, outside of just it being short stories, it was amazing. I feel she, uh, whew, she's she's really good. Yeah, is amazing. So she's a really really good writer not too many big words unnecessarily it's flowing you know you want to as soon as she starts it's 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 so beautiful how she even though it's heavy stuff but how she puts things is really amazing it's 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 whew, she's good i would love to read more of her books we love her writings that we love that it's easy to read but it's confusing if you take too too long because there's too many characters. Obviously, it's, it's, a, it's a bloodline. So there's many people that you are following. So you want to read as fast as you can. But because the book is a page turner anyway, you will finish this one as quick as, as, you, as you possibly can. So my two biggest takeaways from this book is that racism is really nuanced and I need to teach myself more and stop being ignorant and try to understand racism for what it is and not racism for what i've been taught and this thing of forgive white people and stuff and no but there's like consequences to the actions and they're still following people to this day people who are our families to this day and we need to talk about those things so if we're going to forgive each other sure but let's talk about these things because they still do exist we are doing a good job of doing it but i don't feel like we understand our privilege some of us it's like you have a job you went to school you have a pretty a pretty much decent life in your life you were set up for failure but you've kind of by the grace of god in my case you've broken through and it has the, the failure has not caught up with you and it will not because i have god other people i don't know what you believe in but i need to what i'm trying to say is i need to also understand my privilege just like we don't understand our privilege and how blessed we are how many people are suffering and it's not even their fault how we are suffering still for like in in other areas as well because we still are treated badly for our skin but anyway just our privilege and how nuanced racism is this book is amazing it will teach you I've, I've been having a bad attitude on books about racism and stuff because it does get tiring but i really recommend this one if i had to rate it out of five i'd give it a five 
okay let's give it a four because i didn't like something on it i didn't like everything i didn't like the short stories part but let's give it a four but if it was not for the short stories if you don't mind the short stories definitely a five amazing you're gonna love this one tell me what you think about the book if you've read it down below thank you guys for tuning in i love you so much bye